This is a project I did about 10 years ago at home. I wanted to see how small I could make a uh, color video spy camera. Though by today's standards it's not really tiny. For a color camera back then, it became the smallest one commercially available. I could produce these for $30 and then sell them for $1,200. That lasted for about six months. Another company came out with one that was black and white, slightly larger, and about $60. Oh well, it was fun to do. To keep things small, I used a headphone jack for power, ground, and video out, instead of a regular RCA jack, which would have been about the size of the camera itself. This is what it looks like underneath the rubber coating image sensor on one side, circuit board on the other side. Uh, there's about 30 components. You can maybe see some of the smaller ones on the board there. Uh, the large one, uh, black one, transistor looking one, is actually a 5 volt regulator chip. And that metal can is a crystal. This is the lens that I used for the camera. It's an elaborate multi-element pinhole lens. This is what the imaging sensor chip looks like. Focal plane array on one side and uh, contacts on the other side. Glass window. Here are some of the resistors that were used on the circuit board. Um, they're in 402 packages, that means they're 40 thousandths of an inch long by 20 thousandths of an inch wide. And uh, that's pretty small, there's about 20 of them in this dispenser strip here. These are the circuit boards I designed for the camera. There's several of them nested on this main board uh, with perforations between them. They're snapped off of the board, then they're ground to the exact size of the imaging chip. The imaging chip gets soldered to one side, and then the components get soldered to the other side. And there you go. Tiny color video spy camera that I made like 10 years ago in my basement.